All right, thank you so much, Amber. Well, right now, Alabama is in the midst of a huge blood shortage, and frankly, we all can step up to help. Yes, we can, and that's why we have Life South here today, because they're urging folks to donate ahead of the Independence Holiday to help those local hospitals. So I want to make sure I get your title correct, the District Community Development Coordinator. You got it. Whew. Yep. That's <laughs> It is, isn't it? I love it. Well, if you get paid by the word, you're doing good. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, Becky Cecil, she joins us with more on this great program to help address and meet that need. Well, I want to thank you so much yes. for coming. Thank you on. for having me again. I appreciate it. Of course. So with July 4th coming up, we do have a couple things in the works to kind of bolster our blood supply because blood supply is one of those things that you have to have it on hand mm -hmm. when you need it. There's not a plan B. You can't synthetically make blood. Mm -hmm. So this Friday, tomorrow, we have our donuts for donations like we're going to have at our madison donor center we're going to have some Krispy cream donuts if you come in you give blood and we'll give you a donut and a gift card 20 dollars e-gift card and then in addition to that from the first through the sixth we're having our all-american donor days so you come in you get a cool t-shirt and a 25 dollar gift card and you get to save some lives which is pretty awesome that's, that's very wonderful. cool is there uh, is there any significance but to particular to the 4th of July or or to any holiday when it seems like the the call for for blood mm -hmm. donation seems to be at, at its most intense so with holidays we typically see uh, an uptick in usage from our hospitals and a and a downward trend with donors because people right. are busy on holidays right. Right. they're traveling they have family in town they have other things going on coming to donate blood maybe is not the at the forefront of their mind. So when we come up to a holiday, we want to try to, to bolster that blood supply to make sure that we have what our hospitals need. And especially on holidays where people are traveling, you know, we see more car accidents, more people coming into Huntsville Hospital right. needing those blood products. So we want to make sure that they're available when they're needed. And I want to touch on this again because you mentioned there are a few incentives to get people to come out Definitely. and donate blood for both of the programs that you have. There is. So tomorrow we'll have donuts, which, I mean, <laughs> I'm here for the donuts. So, um, And then a $20 e-gift card. And then the first through the sixth we'll have um, the $25 e-gift card and a really awesome T-shirt. Blood types. Is there a particular blood type or types that you especially find uh, you're in need of right now? O positive, O negative are typically the ones that we see the most usage out of, but we need all blood types right now. You know, we uh, donating blood can save up to three lives. Mm -hmm. So coming in and donating whatever the blood type, whether you've donated or not before, is really important to us just to get people in the door to get those blood products on the shelf because we are the sole provider for Huntsville Hospital. So uh, we want to make sure we have our, our shelves stocked right. for when they need it. Of course. And where can people go to get more information? Sure. So lifesouth.org. Um, you can search by zip code, by city, find where our mobiles will be, find where our centers are, and find what's closest to you and what's most convenient. We hear a lot of folks say, I can't donate because I had this or I had that. But a lot of those things have been updated yes. over the mm -hmm. years. So who can give blood? So we encourage anybody. Um, mm -hmm. There has been some travel that has recently been updated that you can donate now when mm -hmm. maybe you wouldn't have been able to right. before. Um, tattoos, there's a lot of myths about tattoos. I just got a tattoo. As long as it's at a licensed facility, right. you can come over. Um, our website also has uh, myths donation myths that you can take a look at and we also have a list of the medications so if you're wondering about a specific medication right. you can take a look at our website and and it'll give you a little bit more information excellent mm -hmm. Becky we always love it when you come on here because you yes. give us some new tidbits that Absolutely. we didn't know <laughs> every I try. time I try every to time. keep it fresh <laughs> <laughs> well, we definitely appreciate that and hopefully you all go out yes. and support as well and donate blood to help save some lives indeed we'll be right back